everybody, this is Brie Tobias. Welcome back to Art Supply Guide. I just wanted to show you a product today that I use in my studio often whenever I'm working with dry media. This is Krylon Workable Fixative, and what it is is a clear, matte finish, non-yellowing spray that you can actually apply on top of your drawings. So it is ideal for such things as your chalk pastels, if you've ever worked with those. They're just an artist quality chalk. You can also use them on Conte crayon, which is like another type of a chalk. It's also great for uh, charcoals, ebony pencils and regular drawing pencils. And it is also good for putting on top of your India ink drawings. So I have just um, an example of what the India ink drawings are. It's obviously a wet media that dries. However, you can use the fixative on it. And then the other would be a pencil drawing. So I'm just going to quickly show you how this drawing here can smudge. And I rubbed my finger right over the shoulder here and kind of smudged it. And then I'm just going to take an eraser, take that away. So here is my drawing here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a layer of this workable fixative. One thing you don't want to do is exactly what I'm about to do and use this inside. This is something that you need to be using in a well ventilated area. So as soon as I spray it, I'm going to be opening up the windows. Just take it. I'm going to do a second coat. Okay. Now that I've given it a moment to dry, I can come back in and start working on smudging and there's a lot less smudge. Uh, the more layers, the better it is. And of course, this isn't something that I would say spray it on your paper and then just start rubbing on it just to test it out. It's really just for light protection and any heavy smudging may occur unless you build up those layers and let them dry in between. All right guys, I hope that was helpful today. This again is the Krylon Workable Fixative. It is non-yellowing. It is um, not going to wrinkle your paper. It's going to protect all of your dry media from smudging. And then one more tip whenever you are doing your drawings, it is best that if you are working on a surface that you're trying to keep nice and white, uh, go ahead and lay a piece of paper down as a barrier between your hand and your artwork. That way you won't be smudging it around as you're working on the piece. Okay guys, thanks again for joining me today and I hope that this was informative for you. And again, if you like all the content here on Art Supply Guide, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button to my channel and go ahead and visit my website at artsupplyguide.com. Check out a lot of my artist podcasts that I have there and also we have online courses. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.